Revenue requirement. What is it and how do we calculate one? A utility's revenue requirement represents the total amount of money a utility must collect from customers to pay all costs of doing business, including a reasonable return on investment. The regulatory body determines through a rate case proceeding the amount the utility is allowed to collect from its ratepayers. Why a revenue requirement? Unlike most businesses, a utility's prices are not dictated by a free market where supply and demand determine pricing. Utilities are regulated entities. Why are utilities regulated? Utilities are natural monopolies, both economic and physical. It would be inefficient and costly for multiple companies to construct multiple power lines, gas lines, water mains, etc. Monopolies are considered to be low risk, whereas businesses in a competitive market are considered high risk. Regulatory agencies are a substitute for competition. They determine what revenue is necessary to cover the cost of doing business, as well as what's fair and reasonable for both the company and ratepayers. The revenue requirement is the sum of operation and maintenance expenses, depreciation expense, income taxes, and a return on rate base. Operation and maintenance expenses are the reasonable and necessary costs of operating, maintaining, administering, and repairing company infrastructure. It includes such things as salaries, costs of materials and supplies, insurance, but excludes depreciation, debt service, tax equivalents, and capital expenditures. Depreciation expense is the cost of an asset that has been depreciated for a single period and shows how much of the asset's value has been used up in that year. Income taxes include both federal and state income taxes. Rate base is the cost of utility plant. The cost of utility plant is the original cost of the plant, including the labor costs of constructing or installing it. It is reduced by accumulated depreciation, which is the running total of an asset's depreciation expense over time. Other adjustments to the cost of utility plant to determine a company's rate base are additions of materials and supplies, working capital allowance, and special amortizations. Then there are reductions for contributions in aid of construction, advances in aid of construction, and construction work in progress, as these items represent money which has been contributed by ratepayers or developers, so the company cannot earn a return on other people's money. The rate of return is a combination of the cost of paying back debt holders with interest and the return utilities provide to their shareholders. The rate of return a company is allowed to earn is determined by the regulatory agency. For more details on how the rate of return is calculated, please refer to the allowed rate of return Pura video. Thank you for watching. And be sure to visit Pura's YouTube page for other informational videos.